All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that run. I hope that you have repented. I hope that you are baptized. I hope that you're safe and protected. I hope that you had a good past days, and I hope better days come for you. I pray that if you are going through certain struggles or hard situations, I pray that the Most High gets you through those hardships. He gets you through those tough times, and I pray that um, whatever mental breakdowns you've probably had, I pray that the Most High renews your mind. I pray that you renew your mind in Christ. I pray that you ask the Most High for more wisdom. I pray that you ask the Most High for more peace of mind, a more you know, more clarity, a good sanity, and I pray that you renew your mind in Christ, all right? And um, I just hope things get better for you, okay? We're in some very interesting times, very crazy, wild times, been very strange, very unpredictable, but we got to stay the course. We got to stay on that narrow path. And we got to stay strong and firm in the Lord, no matter what. All right. Let's not get rattled. Let's get stronger. OK, um, if you feel a certain way, just let out a shout, scream, do what you got to do. But don't hurt yourself or others in the process. OK, just give it to the Lord. Put all your issues. Give it to the Lord. OK, put it in most high's hands. All right. And keep that faith. Now, today's message, this is just going to be a church note that popped in the email from a newsletter from Jen DeLeon. And the church note is titled, In the Lake Alone. So what I'm going to do is just read this church note, keep it nice and easy on this Sunday night, and just, you know, give the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob all the glory and praise, and his only begotten son as well, and just close out from there, okay? So let's go through with this church note. Here we go. This message is an encouragement to not be afraid to step out of the boat your comfort zone, or any distractions, etc., etc. In the lake alone, the best way to respond to crisis is move forward. You may not have everything you want to have, but if you keep moving forward, God will work out everything. If you don't perfect aloneness, then marriage is not the antidote. If you can't be happy in a room with you, don't invite me to your unhappiness. People who can't find peace within themselves actually invite you to their drama, and their drama becomes your trauma. There's a miracle waiting for you, but you've got to get to it. I know God has been good. I know God will be good, but I'm trying to get to next, and that's where all hell breaks loose. It's not in the miracle that all hell breaks loose. It's in between the miracles that all hell breaks loose. I thought I would be there by now. Are you dealing with something you would have never thought would happen? If I thought you would leave me, I wouldn't have told you my business. If I thought I would have saved more, if I thought I was going to get laid off, I would have downsized. How do you prepare for an attack in your life that you never saw coming? You should forgive yourself for not being further considering the, co the contrary winds that were against you in the first place. You measure yourself by effort, but God judges by impact. It's much easier to get in than it is to get out. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. Where you're stuck, Jesus is coming. Where you've been frustrated, Jesus is coming. Where you've been alone, Jesus is coming. Sometimes God will answer in a form that challenges your theology. Your next encounter with God will not look spiritual or what you had in mind, but he's coming to get you out of it. You've been rocking in that boat for years. It's time to step out. This is your season to step out of what you've been afraid of, to step out of the familiar. This is the season to do what you've never done before. Just do it. Stop talking about it. Stop praying about it. If God gives you a word, a word from God is all you need. You've got to step out of the boat to have an encounter with God. Kiss the boat goodbye. You're getting ready to step out. Your greatest enemy is distraction. The closer you get to the next dimension, the harder it is to focus. Things will happen to the left and the right of you to draw your attention away from your focus. 
If you lose your focus, you will sink in what God had called you to walk in. Don't let anybody break your focus. All of those people calling you to bring you bad news are trying to make you fall. If you respond to the problem, you have lost your focus. The problem is not strong enough to stop you from the prophecy until you focus on it. Your focus is under attack. You have to focus on your outcomes, not your issues. Think of all the things that are trying to distract you and delete, 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 block, block, block. I've got to focus. The people who are the most successful in life, business, church, etc., etc., are people who focus. The people who are the best students are the people who focus. Under pressure, you forget what you got. You will forget who you are. You will forget what you know and sink in something that you can swim in. Don't forget what God gave you in the middle of the lake. Don't forget to breathe when you got a lot of weight on you. When you got a lot of weight on you, your first instinct is to stop breathing and carry the weight. When you're under pressure, I need you to keep breathing. You can be so focused on where you're trying to go that you forget to take care of you while you're getting there. You'll get there and lose you. Did you get so stressed that you forgot you could swim? This is all a control test. What it looks like is out of control. It's being controlled. He put you in the situation in a controlled environment to show you how you respond to contrary winds. And there you have it, people. That is the church note title in the lake alone. This was a very awesome church note. Very relatable. Definitely perfect time and definitely need to hear that word. And I pray that this word and this church note has blessed you as well. I pray that you could take heed to it. You listen to it and you apply it to your personal life. OK, it is time for you to step into that new season. It is time for you to truly, truly, truly take that leap of faith. All right. No more straddling on the fence. No more fear. No more doubt. No more skepticism. No more unbelief. Hallelujah. It's just straight faith and risk from now on. Straight faith and moves. Faith and improvement from now on. OK, so that's a church note, y'all. And. I hope it blesses y'all and y'all apply it to your life for the rest of your lives, okay? So now what we're going to do as we close out is give all the glory to the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and praise his only begotten son and just, you know, give out a prayer and close out from there, okay? So here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. He is the advocate, the Adam, the almighty, the alpha and omega. Amen. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed only potent, the blessed only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God. Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king and the lamb. The Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yahshai, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, our righteousness, Ahai, Yahshai, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one. The morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, Yeshua, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David. 
the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth in life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. In the power and the authority and name of Jesus Christ, we touch an agreement. Amen. We serve an awesome creator and his son is amazing for dying for our sins as well. Yes, yes, yes. So there you have it, people. Allegedly, I guess there's also Rosh Hashanah, Happy uh, New Year for so-called uh, Hebrews, Jews, our real culture, actually, uh, or what have you. But if anything, man, much love to everybody out there. Let's stay strong, okay? Um, don't feel too bad about being lonely. God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you through every season. He is with you through every trouble that you're dealing with. Hallelujah. So always remember that. So there you have it, people. That is a church note for the day, all right? Now, I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. I pray that you start your life off for the most high. I pray that you repent. I pray that you take more risk, take more leaps of faith. I pray that you get more out of your comfort zone. I pray that you belong where the most high, um, the most high predestined you to be. And um, just stay in alignment, all right? Stay faithful to the Lord. Stay loyal to the law, search, and commandments. Stay loyal to the gospel. Stay loyal to the word. And just stay prayed up, all right? I got, I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.